John Mechie, their leading returning wide. Motion in motion. Here's Price standing in, has protection, sees running room, steps up, throws wide open. Mechie, near side, inside the 10, dives out of bounds. And no, they'll say he crossed the plane of the end zone in the air. Touchdown, touchdown, 37. Brian Robinson is the running back. Runs left, runs over Keynes. And eight and a half to go, first quarter, 7-0 Bama. Miami brought pressure, they flush Young, who throws on the run. 36, high snap, he took it down, gave it to Robinson. Brian Robinson, inside the 20. Four PATs, leading back to the season before, he made 15 field goals in a row. And now six, Miami fans trying to make it tough on Young. They flush him to the right, a bullet on the move. Snap, quick throw across the middle, touchdown, Cameron Watu! The tight end got free, went across the middle, and in the sunshine of the end zone, gets hit on a nice, quick release by Grayson. Here's King, pumping, faking, hit, ball is loose, covered up. Is 52. He got plenty of it. And the streak is still alive. Running back is to the right of the quarterback. Here's the snap. Bryce looks right, throws across the middle. Lot two. First down. Lot two. 10 yard line. He breaks a tackle. He's got his second touchdown of the day. Cameron. Lot two. Four wide receivers. Yep, there he goes. Will Anderson. One. Can Bama make a big defensive stop? They do! A truck works defensive beauty! And Bama will stop Miami on fourth and goal. Bryce gets it, backpedals onto the end zone, loads up, looks long. He's got Williams behind the defense. Jameson makes the grab in midfield. Down the right sideline, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Alabama! Bama, they're exceedingly close. Maybe this is the year for the traffic. Bama leads comfortably, handoff up the middle, Trey kicks right, he's got help, he's going to go, touchdown Alabama, how wonderful to see that for Trey Sanders, a 20 yard run for a young man who has dealt with so many hardships over the years. Points allowed to Clemson, 62 to uh, North Carolina. quarterback in his first start well I think it's important that Bryce had success in this game because I think it will affect his presence and his leadership and his confidence which is always good for your quarterback so you know I was really pleased with the way he played today and I keep emphasizing the fact that we have to keep playing better around them but we had some guys that played well today we just got sloppy at the end of the game we tried to play a lot of players but you know Bryce did a great job 
Well, your defense is returning nine starters this year, and they looked really dominant. How could this group be even better than last year's group? Well, I think it's important that we can play better on defense. You know, I thought we played pretty well in the first half. You know, the second half, you know, not quite as good. I think we lost some of our intensity. You know, it's really hard to play good defense if you don't really have the right mindset, and I think we lost a little bit of that at halftime, and that's probably my fault. A lot of new faces stepping into the spotlight, Bryce included. What's most encouraging for you about this win? Well, I think Miami has a good team, so, um, you know, I was encouraged by the way we came out and played in the first half, especially on offense with all the new starters. I think we scored the first three or four times we had the ball, so that was probably the thing that was the most impressive to me. And 15-0 and in season openers. Congratulations, Coach. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I didn't know that. <laughs> your first start and it was on a big stage but you told us you didn't feel any pressure what prepared you for this moment really the work we put in, in the offseason um, I feel like we prepared so well Saban had us ready we had a really good game plan coming in and we worked hard we have a lot of trust in our staff in our process um, in our workouts so for us it, it wasn't really much pressure because we knew we put the work in so many new players stepping into the spotlight guys like Cameron Latu and Jamison Williams really stepping up big today. How was your offense able to be so successful with so many new pieces in place. Yeah um, I think that that's really a testament to our coaching staff and how hard working these guys are they're coming in. Uh, we had a lot of new people that um, had to fill new roles this year and the coach staff did a great job of getting us all ready and us just in the offseason um, those guys worked out tremendously hard in the offseason. They do a lot of work you know behind the scenes that not everybody gets to see so um, our coach staff does a great job and those guys work their butts off. I don't know if you know this but you broke a couple school records tonight for touchdown passes in a debut and passing yards in a debut. What is your reaction to already being a part of Alabama's record book so early on in your career. Yeah it's a blessing for sure. Um, you know that's not something I take lightly. There's been a lot of greats that have played here. Um, but really it's a testament to my teammates and the coaching staff. The line did an amazing job blocking for me to, uh, and for the running game today. Um, they were they were great up front. The receivers did a great job of getting open making my life easier and the running backs helped me in the running game and in protection. So um, really it's a testament to my teammates and OB called a great game and Saban of course uh, did a great job. So it's really a testament to them. All right. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.